Consider this tip almost part public service announcement and part Lightroom tip. Uh, there is a little setting when it comes to the adjustment brush, the radio filter, or the graduated filter inside of Lightroom. And most people haven't seen it. And if you have seen it, it could be because it was accidentally closed and you didn't expect it and you were wondering where all your settings went. But when you figure out what this setting does, you actually see that when you use it, you can have multiple sliders on any one of those adjustments and you can use one slider to go in and adjust them all. It's almost kind of like an opacity slider for each one of those tools inside of Lightroom. So let's go ahead and dive in and check it out. Inside of Lightroom, we're gonna head up here to the very, very top of the, the develop module. And you're gonna see we have our brush and our radial and our graduated filter and th this works for any one of those, all right? So the idea is, is I created a radial filter over here. I kind of put a little bit of a uh, put a little bit of a spotlight in an area, added a little bit of dehaze to kind of give it almost a foggy look in a way, right? And I can kind of move that around and just kind of change the feeling of a photo. And I do this a lot. I, I use these tools to direct attention in my photos all the time. Well, one of the neat things we can do is uh, you might not even know you can right click on that little adjustment pin and you can hit duplicate. And now I get a copy and I can move it over here. I can even rotate it around a little bit. Again, we get a nice little hazy feeling, almost fog. Well, here's what happens. It's maybe when I move it from here to here, the settings that I had used in, in this example, the settings that I had used maybe don't work quite as much. And what you could end up having is we could have shadows, we could have exposure, we could have highlights, you could have several sliders going on in here that are affecting what we do with this little adjustment. Well, here's a cool here's a cool little trick. Rather than trying to figure out and go through each slider and pull back and change each slider, if you look in the top right corner, you're gonna see a little down facing arrow. If you click on that arrow, it'll roll everything back up. All right, now you don't see all the settings, but what you do have is an amount slider, and this will proportionally go through there and change your settings, all right? So here, I'm gonna crank it all the way up. Let's crank it way up. And as I go look at my sliders, now my sliders are very, very different from what they were before. Again, I'll close it and we'll pull them back. And then I can open it back up and you'll see now my sliders are different from where they were before. So it kind of keeps you from having to go in here and move each slider. And it's a nice way if you're using any of these little selective adjustments inside a Lightroom, um, it's a really nice way to maybe take advantage of one that you've already created, use it again somewhere else, but then come in here and tone it down and kind of you know finesse it to get it to fit in the place where you want it to.